Hey, what's good guys? My name is Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we are back here in Folsom, California at Lifetime and we are talking about these bad boys right here. This, my friends, is the AND1 Attack 2.0. Now before we get started on the performance review on these guys, we did want to give a quick shout out to Lifetime because they're the reason why we're able to be in here. They also have one of the best, if not the best, basketball hoops league in the nation called Ultimate Hoops and they treat avid shows like you and I, like pros, which is awesome. They keep track of all your stats, they hang up banners if you win the championship, plus they got all the state of the art equipment right behind me so they got everything that you would need for lifting, running, crossfit, you got that tire thing in there, they got everything. Lots of classes on top of that and they got people on standby with those massage guns just in case you need one they're ready for you it's awesome so if you wanted to check out lifetime at any time click the link in the description box below it'll head you over to their website where you can check them out sign up and what i do is every thursday i'm in here so if you wanted to come through hoop with me the 505 is over there on that side and then this is like the warm-up side and we're normally here thursdays she, she's that, that was a little awkward <laughs> But we're normally here Thursdays from about 5 to 7. Now the AND1 Attack 2.0 features almost identical tooling to the original Attack. If you wanted to check out the original review on the original AND1 Attack, that's what they look like. Click the link right over here. It'll take you over to that video where you can check it out. But like I was saying, the tooling is identical. What we have here is some really awesome and aggressive traction. This stuff is great because AND1 is an outdoor brand, but they also work really well indoors no matter what the court condition is. So if you're working on, you know, a sh court or a clean court like this one, it does a really matter this outsole right here's got you covered even the little chevron logo has got you covered these things are great for toe offs and then you got all this wave bone throughout and the cushion is something that is really great as well i know the and one gets a bad rap due to what they have been doing previously which is selling at walmart locations with really cheap products and rubber cup soles and stuff like that this is not the walmart and one shoe this is one of their premium offerings and the cushion in here is actually an etpu footbed within this eva carrier now this is not a plug but this is a hefe lux insole if you were interested and grabbing one of these i'll leave a link down below with a promo code just in case but this is essentially what is inside of this guy right here it's sitting right underneath the insole and this is what your foot rests on which is awesome so in case you needed some sort of visual here you go this is essentially what it's laid out like right inside so again underneath the insole and strobel it's got an etpu a boost like platform in there right underneath here you can see those cutouts and this is just to kind of give you a visual that there's some sort of cushioning in there but that's not what it looks like again it looks like this but it's inside here it's about the thickness as well so you're not getting a ton of the etpu you, but what you are getting is a lot of court feel with some impact protection. Also what I like to call just like a nice balance of cushion and court feel. So this is a well-balanced setup right here. Now as far as the fit is concerned, by the way, rocking these guys or girls as you might like to call them. Can't remember what they're called already. Oh, the UNC to shy, sorry, pretty obvious. But these things are fantastic. Click the link right here if you want to check out this review. Leather on these, butter. So there's a pull tab on both sides, but it's not a real stretchy upper, so it's a little bit of a pain to get inside. But once you are inside, it is a true to size fit. And then you have all of these lace lines or lace cables, nylon strands, whatever you want to call them. And these just take a little bit of time to adjust to your liking because this area right here is not traditional. It's a one piece setup so there's not a tongue and sometimes you can lace this kind of stuff up a little too tight and it'll give you some lace pressure cut off some circulation and it does not feel very comfortable but once you get this situated to your liking then it's actually a really cool setup and what i really like is these guys right back here because these really draw you right into the back of the heel right there for a great heel lockdown which is very important what some call ankle protection yeah there is no squeaking on these things, unfortunately, so they're super quiet. Uh, I say unfortunately for people that need that. They need that mental thing in their head, even though that does not, like sound does not equal traction. Traction is just traction. Either it works or it doesn't work. This works like crazy. This is one of the best setups from I think it was last year, one of the traction setups when the original one released. And then this guy right here, being that it's the same exact stuff, it works amazing, even that it's clear soles. So again, those chevrons that are right at the toe, those are great for toe offs and even toe drags. And then the rest of everything is kind of like a multi-directional fashion. So it doesn't, doesn't matter what kind of move you're doing and all that kind of stuff, you're pretty much good to go. Again, it's a silent setup, so if you need that mental reassurance of having sound with traction, it's not going to give that to you. But again, it works really great. Man, this is, I haven't worn these in a minute. I've had these since last year, and these just have like incredible traction. I could just feel it right underfoot. So again, if you're trying to go for something, whether that be indoor or outdoor, you know, this shoe's got you covered. Ah. Great traction all the way through. And yes, I miss. 
it happens. So do you. Don't give me no shit about it. I don't give a Now the materials are an interesting setup, especially for an and one shoe, because again, they kind of ruined the brand's perception a little bit by going to Walmart, which I personally don't think it was a huge mistake, only because they were catering to a need that a certain class of citizen is able to then purchase a shoe with somewhat of a name brand. However, then you get certain people that are of a different class and they start looking down upon those types of products, even though what they were doing was actually quite respectable. Now again, unfortunately, this shoe is not the lower priced option. Unfortunately, in the terms of that it is expensive. It's like 120 bucks or whatever for this shoe, which is crazy to think for an and one shoe, but at least it works. So you're not overpaying for performance or whatever. Like this shoe has the same exact performance features as any other shoe within this price range. They just don't have that logo or branding that you might want on it. So these guys in particular have a mixture between different materials and each colorway is gonna be a little bit different. And where they're going to vary is on the toe and on the heel. So this one right here has like a lenticular upper, but there's gonna be pairs with knit, with woven. Like I think I have another pair that's more of a woven material. It's like a Ghostbusters colorway. And that one actually glows in the dark, which is really sick. And then the rest of the shoe is a lot of textiles, a lot of fuse. So you got fuse in, in the welding areas to cover the seams up. You got knit right here, and this is a compression knit. So it's got a little bit of stretch right there, which is again, why you're gonna have to mess with the lacing a little bit, just to ensure that you're getting the proper lockdown without all of the restriction and pressure points, because that's where all of that stuff is. Now, one of the pluses to this is that the materials are super durable, but some of them are gonna be a little bit more flexible up in the front right here than others. This one's got a little bit of a synthetic feel, so it bows out in certain areas. Not something that I'm super fond of, but it's at least durable, so you gotta give it that. Now, just to talk about the fit one more time, again, I went true to size, that's what I would recommend. These do not fit like last year's model, like the 1.0. So the 1.0 fit very, very, very true to size and very tight, especially in the forefoot. A lot of people had to go up half a size. It, to me, once I broke the shoe in, it was kind of like that style of fit that I personally prefer. Whereas this is almost the opposite. I don't know if they made it on a different last or not, but this section of the shoe kind of bubbles up and gives a little bit more volume around the forefoot than last year's model. And it's a little bit of like the opposite of what I personally like. So there's just a little bit of space right there between my foot and the actual top of the shoe. I would have loved to have had it be just as snug since this material is a little bit softer than last year's model, but I could see why they changed it because again, a lot of people were like, yo, those are mad tight, which they were, but that's how I like my shoes to fit. If you do like to have just a bit of volume above your toe, again, this will be one of those shoes great for you. If you like a little bit more of a snug fit, I do not recommend going down half a size just because lengthwise, like my toes like right here. So I don't think that there's enough room in there to warrant that. Now, in terms of support, they've got all the support features that you would have in any other shoe, except for the Giannis shoe. Sorry, keep throwing that one directly under the bus. It's gotten run over more times than maybe it's exploded on court. Yes, that's happened. So if you can see the little mint hits, those are actually TPU panels, and it's one whole panel underneath the outsole in between the midsole and the outsole. And that's the TPU shank plate, something that the Yana shoe does not have, so it's got a little bit of torsional support. And then while you don't sit inside the midsole right in the forefoot, you do right in the back. So you got a lot of rear support right here, including the lacing system. And again, the fit is probably the most important thing for support, and then the rest of those other features kind of help reinforce those areas. So this shoe right here has a great support system. It's got a low stretch in the forefoot. My only complaint again is just a little bit of volume in the toe. But otherwise, these are a beast of a shoe. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised because I think for the most part, they upgraded and updated certain things compared to the original that most people are gonna enjoy more on these guys. So that pretty much takes care of it for the performance review on the An 1 2.0. They're rolling them out slowly. So that's why we held off on the review. I got these almost a year ago, something like that. Yeah, I've been wearing them on and off since. It's a great shoe shoe. Again, great indoors, great outdoors. Problem was, is it wasn't available. So I didn't put out the performance review because there was no point. Nobody was going to be able to buy them. They are releasing in February. I believe it's going to be at Foot Locker exclusively for a little while. And then I'm pretty sure they're going to roll out on am1.com afterwards. The first launch is going to be pretty cool. I believe it's two colors. It's a white base and a, and a black base. And they're also going to have Fred Van Fleet. He's one of the players on the uh, Toronto Raptors. And he's going to be there. He's like their main guy wearing this shoe right now. He's been killing it. And the color ways for him. If you don't follow Ant One on Instagram, they've been showing all of these. They got a Raptors colorway. It's mad fire, dude. Like it's purple. It's got a little bit of red on there. Got the Raptor claws. It was, it was fresh. But again, if you need any more information on these things, there's going to be a link in the description box below. It'll head you over to weartesters.com where you can check out their price, their weight, their score, a little bit of extra thoughts, like more in depth and all that stuff. If you were interested in joining Lifetime, again, I'm here Thursdays playing basketball from about 5 30 to 7. There's going to be a link down below as well. And that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that I don't brick this because I haven't really warmed up yet. Oh, so close. Take two. So let's go ahead. Ah, mama face. Oh, you. Take three.
There we go. Third time's a charm. Take it easy, guys.